lovely Aquarius. Do, 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 do. Aquarius. Do, 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 do. Hi Aquarians. Thought you might appreciate a little bit of an intro. I always want to do like that, a bit of a trombone as well. Um, hello lovely Aquariuses, if that is the plural of Aquarius. A plural of Aquarius. Okay, we're going to have one of those readings where I can't talk properly. The plural of Aquarius. Aquarii, Aquarius. Somebody let me know in the comments section. This is your April reading. Let's at least make some sense with that bit. What do we need to know? Love, life, destiny, any channeled message. God, what is wrong with me? Any channeled messages that want to come in? Let me know what you had for breakfast. Always like to know what everyone had for breakfast. Do you want to know what I had for breakfast? <laughs> this is really bad. You're going to get confession out of me here. We just do that a little bit so there's some light got jackdaws on the chimney as well um what did i have for breakfast i had three pieces of toast and they all had like marmalade or jam on and then i had decaf coffee because i'm being good left it for an hour thinking be good maybe some protein now and what did i do i hogged down a whole load of chocolate brownie there you go that was my breakfast that's probably why i'm a little bit kind of on a sugar high Hey ho, let me know what you had for breakfast, especially if it was bad, because that was a naughty breakfast for me. Did you have, did you go into the fridge and take out cold pizza? Did you? Let me know. Right, I'm going to take three cards first of all to kick us off for what's going on in April. We've got Mercury going metrograde, as I call it, on the 1st of April. And we've got a new moon solar eclipse on the 8th. So we've got a lot going on. Big month. And also it's kind of the astrological new year, isn't it? Well, it was on about March the 20th when we had the equinox. Oh, I'm liking the look of that. Let me show you the three cards that I've got for you so far. Okay. Just go on to those a bit more. So... We've got the Ace of Wands, which I'm very happy to see at any time, but very happy to see in April because it's kind of a bit like, you know, when we go into Aries season and Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac and it's like straight out the gates with a bit of Mars energy. OK, and that's what the Ace of Wands is. So it's passion. It's Kundalini rising. OK, so you may feel your sap rising. I know, you'd be like, Gemma, it's been a long time since I felt my sap rising. <laughs> I know, I hear you, but I'm just saying, when you get the Ace of Wands, you don't kick it out of bed for eating crisps. It seems very dark in here. I don't know why all of a sudden. Let's try and... There you go. Anywho, right, Ace of Wands, new beginning, new passion for some of you. Can be new relationship, very sort of pash you know, be the kind of thing where you met somebody and you were like, mm -mm -mm, chicka -chicka. you know, that kind of feeling. It can also be that you're excited about a new project. You want to get something off the ground, new start, new beginning, new job, or just that you're actually feeling a bit of zippity doo -dah. Now, for the last six months or so, Aquarius, we've had some difficult readings for you haven't we in the monthly readings and i expect you've been doing quite a lot of shadow work um if you haven't seen it already check out my shadow work video timeless video it was really good i did i, I say so myself um but it was it was very profound when i made it and it is timeless and it's also about making the most of coming to terms with your shadow so you can move on to get what you want okay so it's in the description box if you want to see that okay we then go on to have the king of cups in reverse now i have a very kind of i don't know special relationship with the king of cups in reverse i think for me when the king of cups in reverse comes up that it's a person, it can be a love situation, it can be a job situation, more often a love thing because the King of Cups is water and water represents emotion. So either love, emotion, feeling, something like that. King of Cups in reverse is a, 
a certain wishy-washiness. When he's in the upright, he's kind of the emotional king. He can be people when they are really mature emotionally, when they've hit their own emotional understanding of themselves. But with this King of Cups, when he's in the downside, when he's upside down, makes him sound like he's on Stranger Things, he can be somebody who won't commit or somebody who won't admit, somebody who doesn't really have any borders or boundaries. It can be someone who drinks too much or has trouble with addictions or trouble with the truth. So this can happen, let's say you're in a bit of a situationship with somebody and you don't really know where you stand. And maybe you've sort of had the big talk and you've kind of asked them direct questions, but you haven't heard a direct answer of this person. That can be a situation that you're in. I might take a clarifying card for that in a minute, actually. And then I'm very, very happy to see this card for you. This is the good karma tarot. He's got gorgeous hair. Um, Aquarius, the star, that's your card. So when your major arcana card comes up for a star sign, then we know we're hitting something good. So it's been really tricky for you for at least six months, maybe a bit more like eight, nine months for a lot of you. You're coming back into your own good energy, okay? So Aquarius energy is about the collective, but it's also this card in particular, the star, is about manifesting, reaching for what you want. And also this Ace of Wands is help to get you there. It's not going to be, I feel like you've been wading through treacle for the last eight to nine months and you've been wondering, you know, what, what's going on? Why can't I get anything right? Why can't anything, why doesn't anything kind of catch and take hold? So this is just telling you reach for the stars get ready for what you want and if you are dealing with some kind of energy that you can't work out that seems a bit um just weird frothy whatever you want to call it don't get mired in that in other words you've got to kind of stick to your own lane and almost ignore what's happening here. Because I can tell you now that the more you prod this and the more you want clarity, the further away it gets from you. You need to start being the star in your own movie again, okay? It's immensely powerful when you do that. It draws people towards you like a magnet, but it also gives you more options so that if you are hanging your hat on one job or one person, suddenly you get into that brilliant energy where you've already got a job or you've already got a person. You know how it is when you've already got a partner or you've already got a job and you go for another one and of course you get it or everyone fancies you because you've already got somebody, okay? But you can get into that energy just by manifesting. Okay, let's look at the three clarifiers. There will be an extended reading, by the way, as there is nearly every month. There wasn't last month, and I had a lot of emails about it. So there'll be an extended reading. We look at the love cards from this reading, and we ask, how do they feel about you? What's really going on behind the scenes? And we clarify, we use different decks, love decks, weird decks, I get more tea, we channel. So the first link in the description box, if you want that. Okay. So, Ace of Wands and the High Priestess, that is very powerful energy. This is telling you that you need to tune into something or someone, your intuition, yourself. You've got to believe in yourself, Aquarius. And a lot of Aquarians that I know, and I've said before, I love the Aquarius vibe. I have a lot of Aquarian friends. I got Venus in Aquarius, so I think I just like people who have that sort of variety. Aquarians have a lot of variety within one person. And for me as a mutable Pisces, that's exciting because you're always doing something new, thinking something new. Um, one of my Aquarian friends, I don't know how old she is now, 71 or something, but by God, she looks amazing. And she's so interesting still, you know, it's just, 
loads of um, vivaciousness, really. So this is saying with the High Priestess and this Ace of Wands put together, absolutely rock your Aquarian vibe at the moment. However weird it is, however wonderful it is, never apologise and never explain because it's going to take you somewhere. If you've got issues in love relationships, it's going to tell you how to solve them in a really weird way. It's going to steer you in the right direction. If you're single as a Pringle and looking to mingle, as my, as the boy's uh, friends say. The boy doesn't really say that. Let me just do that. Then this will also send you in the right direction, throw you in the path of the right person. The big deal about this is you don't have to make a huge effort. It's important to know you don't have to make a huge effort. Huge effort is kind of the opposite of what you need to do. We've got the King of Cups in reverse. Very, very interestingly, we're getting the Five of Cups. So there is a need to look at the spilled cups. We've got the ruin on the hill up there. We've got the guy with the kind of funereal cloak on who's mourning what has lost. And then we've got the two cups tucked in the background which is saying there's more to come. But actually, if there is something you need to lose, if there is something you have lost, if there is something that should go by you, remember to mourn it properly, okay? Remember to face it. Don't stuff it under the carpet because the energy of mourning brings you to the energy of love, okay? Then we have here for the star, for your manifesting card, two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse is a fast and passionate decision, okay? Don't feel that you need to make quick, fast, passionate decisions. You don't. You can manifest in a passionate way. You can ask for what you want. Aquarians that I know can be a little impatient, especially if something's exciting, okay? In this case, cool your jets, ask for what you want, but be imagine having the star and the high priestess together. They are both two feminine energy deities that just kind of, archetypes, sorry, that just kind of put it out there and let it just bob along the water. They're not checking their phone. They're not saying, where is it? They're not raising hell trying to find it. It's just cool, calm, collected, and also the energy of putting it out there and knowing it is done, okay? I like it. Let's have, what do I want for you? I want a couple more of these, actually. Let's look at your love life. Let's look at love. Chica, 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 chica. Ooh. Ooh, okay. What's been going on with you lot? You get the six of wands in reverse. You're feeling like, I do get it. The past six to nine months, you have been feeling like you can't get anything right. Or some of you have been battling through some quite, yeah, difficult relationship stuff. We've got the moon in reverse, which is the need to be very, very real about something, okay? For some of you, it could be about the king of cups that you need to be very real very important. Yeah, because look, you've got the five of cups again and the six of coins. Okay, we need to talk. Let's talk. I'm going to get rid of me. See, oh, hang on. So you can see the cards. Right. Look at these cards for relationships. Six of wands in reverse. That could be that you've been in separation, you've split up from somebody, or you're just feeling incredibly lost and unlucky when it comes to love. We've got the five of cups again. So we've got two versions here of the same card, okay? Six of coins in reverse, not receiving what you wanted to receive and the moon in reverse, which is saying to you, be realistic, okay? Now you can be the high priestess, you can be the star and you can still be realistic. It's walking a difficult line, but it's a line that will bring you a lot of things, okay? Let's clarify some of your love cards. 
I've been doing your readings, even the ones where I do like all the 12 signs and you've come out with such difficulty. I mean, let me know in the comments section what is going on with you and let's have a look as well at what we can do. Oh, good, good. Ooh, that's interesting. We'll talk about that in a minute. Well, notice you got the Ten of Wands in reverse. The universe is saying to you, drop. I was, no, I was going to say something that would sound really bad, actually. Um, drop the burden. OK, there's something here that you are working so hard to keep going. Drop the burden. Yeah, look, it's keeping you in chains. It's keeping you locked away. Drop the burden drop the stress, drop the effort. There should be no effort on your part, okay? You can be floaty and you can be manifesty, you can be feminine energy, but no effort on your part, okay? You are the hermit at the moment. You hate being the hermit, I get that. The Aquarians are highly sociable, either online or in person. For now, there is something you need to know about what happened, okay? There's some kind of wisdom, the star keeps coming up for you, and then you get the boomerang love card, the eight of cups. Oof. That, and it won't be for all of you, but that eight of cups, when it's in reverse, it's about, and it is, of course, Mercury retrograde this month, isn't it? All month. Eight of cups is going back to something. Now, oh, you've got the six of pentacles in reverse twice. This is going back or somebody coming back to you, okay? Eight of cups in reverse. Oh, you're the second sign that's got this this month. It's that real sense of somebody wanting to leave or there is a separation. Eight of cups is walking away from something, okay? We've got an eclipse there as well. So you get the feeling of somebody walking away, somebody rejecting, somebody leaving when it goes into reverse, it's almost like they turn around and they come back. And I think, and this is just me, you have to be very wary about that situation, okay? Yeah, because look, and I'm gonna, oh my God, Aquarius, I'm gonna start gabbling now. Um, I'm looking at my deck, okay? And they're like 50-50 reversed and not in reverse and you're getting so many reversals, okay? So this is about the past, it has to be. And then we get here the Prince of Swords, Page of Swords, sorry, in the reverse. Somebody, and you. this also fits with the King of Cups in reverse, and this won't resonate with all of you. For some of you, somebody who you never knew why they left returns, and at the moment, you don't know why they came back either. I know. And then the Six of Cups, the Childhood Sweetheart card. This is a card when we get when Mercury's retrograde. Now, we've also got the um, New Moon Solar Eclipse on the 8th, and we've got a full moon in Scorpio later on in the month. God, in the extended reading, I will be, I will be ploughing into your love life. I will be raising the dirt and having a look at it and seeing what, whether you should go with this or not, whether you should even follow that trail at all or not. We don't know. I mean, it's, it's exciting and it like if someone leaves in a mysterious way, always leaves us wanting more. But when they return in a mysterious way, <laughs> oof, yeah. The oracle card you get is a change in the wind, not off. Okay, let's have your shadow card as well. I'm loving this. We're going to get stuck right into it, Aquarius. Take no prisoners, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, I like this for you. How do I react to praise? What does it reveal about my self-worth? I'm going to take one more. No, I'm going to take a shadow card, actually, one of these. So that was like your shadow advice card, and this is your shadow card. I'm very interested to know what this is going to be. 
Oh! Woohoo! We got two. By gum, right. You get the Fool as your shadow card. Do you go on the journey or don't you? And the Six of Swords, do you move on? Do you stay put? I'm going to go and gird my loins ready for the extended reading. I feel like I, may, I might need to like put some gloves on for this or, and then take them off. Gloves are off. Let's do it. I'm going to dig around in all of this. We're going to get some answers. I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.